Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for No Stylus, and we're going to see what we can do with an application called Pinnacle. We've looked at it already, we've got four videos there which show you how to do the basics with this application on the iPad, and in fact I think it's probably the best of the movie editors that you can get for the iPad, and certainly it's better than the iMovie app. You can do far more things with it and have a lot more control. Although the iMovie one does have some good points to it, which you might decide that you want to use depending on exactly what it is you want to do. So let's have a look at this, and one of the things that you might want to do is to be able to see the uh, timeline a little bit more clearly. So I can put two fingers on there, stretch it out, and we get it to go closer into our timeline. Of course, once you're in the timeline, then you can get it to play, pressing the play button. You might want to see what it looks like full screen. So there you go, full screen with it, and I can press the play button again, and it plays through. As you see, I've got uh, two bits of text in there with a transition in between them. So let's uh, close that back down again to see the full view of this here. <clears throat> I think you know already, but you can actually sort of change these transitions in there quite easily. So let's take this one, drag it and drop it on top of there. So now we've got another transition in there, different one. And let's bring it to there, press play. And the second clip comes in there from the top right hand corner, where it was coming down from the top before. So. There's a couple of nice little transitions you can do, and of course another thing that you can do as well is with this here, so if I select that, I might have the transition so it's a bit longer, so I can just pull that across there like that, and now the transition is working for 5 seconds and 20 frames instead. So let's just bring that back over here, put that there, and you see there that it doesn't uh, play quite right, it just got that uh, little icon that came up in the middle, and that's because it needs to be rendered. So just press pause on that one there, press the render button, and you have to wait for that to do its rendering before you can see it in its full glory. It shows you the bar going across a couple of times there. It depends on how much of a change you've made, whether how long it takes, but uh, just be patient. At last, it's done. So let's just take it back to the start of this here again, and press play. And now you can see it's playing properly, coming in from the top right-hand corner without any extra bits in there that we didn't want to see. So let's stop that and let's zoom into our timeline a bit more again. So something else you might want to do is to record a voiceover. So let's press the icon for the microphone. And quite simply, you press the red button on the left hand corner there and you just start talking. So once these countdown has finished, you start talking and that records and you can see how long it's recording for in terms of how long the video is as well. So that's pretty good too. So press stop. And now I've got a recording which goes for the length of that. Now I can decide whether I want to keep it or whether I want to try again. So let's cancel that and uh, try again. So we're working out how to do some voice recordings as a voiceover on the Pinnacle application on the iPad. And you can see it works out quite nicely, seeing how long the video is, and you can match it exactly. So I press stop at the end of that there, and this time I'll say that we're going to keep it. Or in fact what I can do is I can press play and just test it. So we're working out how to do some voice recordings as a voiceover on the Pinnacle application on so the that's iPad. a you possibility of testing it and see if everything's okay before you decide we're going to keep it or not, and this time we'll keep it. And now we've got a voiceover. So that's how easy it is to do voiceovers on there. And of course, once you've got your voiceovers in there, you can do all the editing on there that you did before. So, for instance, at the end there, we no, let's say at the beginning there, let's just take this one here, move it over just a wee bit. In fact, what we need to do is with this, just shorten it by bringing that over that way. Go to the end, and we can shorten it there as well with that. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing this, of course, is if we say we want to go have it start there. Let's get a bit closer into that there. So let's have it starting right at the very start there. So let's take that. We'll use the blade tool and cut it there. So that's uh, cut that bit off. And now I can press the trash can icon, and that's done that. So. So now I've got it starting right at the very beginning of the video and everything's just a whole lot better there, isn't it? So let's go to the end. And that's good, that is. So now I can bring it to the start, I can press play. 
So we're working out how to do some voice recordings as a voiceover on the Pinnacle so, application. So there you go. We can uh, put voiceovers in there. We can edit that voiceover once we got in there using the Pinnacle tools and have a video just the way that you want it. In fact, another thing you might want to do even after that is you might want to decide to put in some music as well. So let's put the playhead where the, in the timeline where we want it and we'll bring this and we'll put it in there as well. So we've got music in there as well as a voiceover. So you're not limited to having just one audio track. You can have more if you wish. So this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and No Stylus and a little bit more about things that you can do with Pinnacle on the iPad. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.